Nightmare Alley is directed by Guillermo del Toro, and it stars Bradley Cooper as a person who joins a carnival show that's run by Willem Dafoe, and he learns that he has an ability to basically is a reader of sorts. He can kind of tell, not necessarily by magic, but kind of with how people dress and how people act he's able to kind of fake it till you make it sort of deal and at this show that he starts to work at he meets the love of his life molly who's played by rooney mara and when they run away together bradley cooper as stan he ends up making his own show with molly and he ends up getting caught in a web with a psychiatrist that is played by kate blanchett and she turns out to be far more evil and more powerful than he could have ever imagined. This movie is really, really, really good, guys. This movie, albeit it came out technically last year now in 2021, uh, and it is kind of a long-ish movie. Um, and the style that it looks and, you know, the story that it's telling may not be for the popular folk out there. It's not a superhero movie. It's not this jam-packed action Transformers-like movie. It's a well-crafted, well-made story, though, however, and I think that that is one of the bigger driving forces that this movie has going for it. The acting in this movie is completely off the chain. Bradley Cooper being the lead in this movie is great. I thought Rooney Mara playing the love interest as Molly was fantastic. Tony Collette is always really, really good. I thought that Kate Blanchett was phenomenal in this movie as the psychiatrist that ends up helping Stan out in the movie. And I always have a soft spot for Willem Dafoe. I genuinely do. I thought Willem Dafoe, albeit for the short-ish amount of time maybe for this movie that I thought he was in, he stole a lot of the scenes from me. I think that Willem Dafoe is a great actor and he shows it once again in this movie. And this film stars a bunch of other actors that I couldn't name off the top of my head. Bradley Cooper is really good in this movie. It's probably the best movie I've seen him in, to be quite honest with you. He has great chemistry with all the characters in this movie, and I think he pulls off a phenomenal job. I thought the story was really well paced. Again, as I stated, this isn't going to grab the casual viewers' probably views because it's not a Transformers movie, it's not a Spider-Man movie, it's not those types of movies, but it is really, really good. It's up there as one of my favorite movies of last year now because it's just a well-crafted story there's a love interest story in there along with all the carny stuff in the background with a lot of twists and turns of you know character motives twisting and changing throughout i thought it was just really well made and i think the biggest positive i can give about this movie is that cinematography is Mwah. chef's kiss there are so many great establishing shots that are seen throughout the movie showing off the atmosphere with the carnival and, you know, characters discussing things and there's a lot of long takes and a lot of good tracking shots and there's a lot of, like, great shots just in general throughout the movie. I couldn't name all of them off the top of my head because you can kind of almost pick in almost every other scene that there is something interesting going on and how the shot is looked or how it's set up or how it's presented in a way. I thought that the cinematography was pretty amazing to see. In the end, I think Guillermo del Toro really did a great job with this story. You're not going to see many movies like this nowadays. Hollywood is just not in the business for that. They know that these aren't the money grabbers, but I would genuinely tell you to go see this movie if you can, whether it's in the theater or renting it somehow. I cannot recommend this movie more than I am right now. I'm going to give Nightmare Alley four stars. Thank you guys so much for watching. Look forward to more reviews very soon, and I will talk to you all next time.